What's up? Part two. Let's get, let's get right into the question. Very quickly, in 10 seconds, subscribe to the channel if you like make money online, stuff like that. Leave a like and leave a comment as well. Let us know what kind of videos you want to see. If you want to sell audiobooks, we can help you with that as well. Yeah. Boom, into the questions. Mm -hmm. So, from Vinay Kumar. He's already had his own Q&A video to himself. Yeah. So, his first question. This is a business question. I haven't seen it. Once you publish enough successful books and are making approximately $10,000 per month, how do you then hire a manager and automate the process wow. so that your portfolio and profits keep growing? Also, where can you, one, find this manager who can handle the biz when you're away? <laughs> God, what a perfect... Uh, that's this so is like, funny. This is like just incredible timing. Incredibly, among, among incredibly in our life. You know? We literally just bought, bought a VA, okay. like, like a slave almost. <laughs> we bought a VA uh, to run our publishing business for us. And because at the Cancun Mastermind event, we all had uh, talks where we all taught shit. He had a talk about outsourcing your business. And then he ended with an offer actually where he was selling VAs. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> trained VAs, don't, don't say it like that. It's nothing <laughs> like that. It's like it sound bad. Yeah, no, but they are trained VAs trained that VAs. know how to run a publishing business. Yeah, and you could uh, get one for 597. Yeah. So before he got off stage, we literally sent him $600. Because I mean, we have 60 audiobooks that we need to We've come out We've been waiting to get this. So it's amazing you ask this question. We've been waiting to get a VA to run our business. What is all Because we have so many, uh, you, we're focused on the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. And so we have so much bigger things to work on. What has held us back is the training process of yeah. these VAs, which yeah. takes an insane amount of time. This guy is trained already how to run a publishing business. So number two, also where can you find this manager who can handle the business while you're away? Or I think you can send an email to Omeka. I think he had seven trained VAs. I actually think he's sold He's probably all. sold out. That sounds so bad. He sold them all. <laughs> I mean that like... <laughs> I keep, well, there there are seven trained VAs, yeah. and uh, he, he'll have he to sell <laughs> He'll have to breed a few more. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's what it is. Okay, part two to be Nate Kumar's question. This one's a fucking hoot. Okay, here we go. Totally off topic to anything we've ever talked about before. Yeah. Suppose you pick up a girl and sleep with her. How do you make sure she doesn't drop any wrong allegations on you and then accuse you of something illegal? Because the law is very skewed in favor of women. In parentheses, there's a whole movement called MGTOW and Red Pill. Look it up, fellas. MGTOW, I've heard of it. Men going their own way is what that stands for. Or suppose. Can I say, it, I'll just explain to you what it is. It's just a movement of guys who want to stay single for life and don't trust women to get married or anything. Or suppose you get really wealthy in the future, fingers crossed. That's what it says, fingers crossed as well, though. And, and girls you've slept with in the past come and target you for your money mm -hmm. while filing bogus lawsuits, saying you abused slash raped them. Yeah. How can you protect yourself? What is the support system you guys have? First, first thing right off the bat is you could not be asking the more of the wrong people this question. <laughs> True. I mean, we could sit and talk about it for an hour, but we can't give you any great advice. Yeah. So, so let's see what the question is. How do you protect yourself? How do you make sure she doesn't drop any wrong foot like and accuse you of something illegal? I, uh, I mean, may, may, oh, be don't, super don't, careful. don't be don't, super careful. Yeah, don't, uh, don't sleep with crazy. Yeah, and then also don't don't like cross them because that's when they'll they'll pull some shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. So don't ever get on their bad side. Don't do anything shitty to them. How uh, can you protect protect yourself? I know nothing about the law yeah. in this situation. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I I feel like I'm the kind of person that would not uh, talk to anyone like that. Yeah, but what the fuck do I know? What is the support system you guys have? Each other? Yeah, I guess. Talking like, oh, she's crazy, don't get involved. Yeah. That, remember last time I told you that? Can we not talk about that? Remember last time I told you that? Right. I told you not to, and you did, and how'd that end? All right, next question. The worst experience of our lives. Next question is from the best, the one and only, Roll Mop King. He has one question. It is, I would like to know how many words I need for making something like the guided yoga lesson to get to three hours. I cannot really judge the amount of words I need to get to at least three hours, and how can I find a narrator who, knows, who knows how to narrate this type of audiobook? Like make pauses, use non-trademarked music, has a calm, mindful voice for a guided yoga audiobook, as example. So first so, of all, how many words? Like we don't know either. Too. Like, we don't so, know exactly. Like, this is the type of question. It's one of those questions that like the only way you can uh, answer this is to figure it out yourself. I feel like we give out so much information to the point where some people stop. 
thinking for themselves because they expect us to give you all the information. Now this, uh, I, about 2,000 words is a vague guess, but I don't no, know. It, it, it depends on the pauses, it depends on uh, if they want to repeat words, then how long music's gonna run. I would say more than 2,000. I'd say like 5,000, I don't know, man. It's tough to say. How can I find a narrator? Go on ACX and ask around. Yeah, that's they, all there is to yeah, do. Yeah, they don't—they don't just fall from the sky. Mm -hmm. You gotta just go on A6, ask around, find someone with a calm voice, and then how to use non-trademark music. And you have to do that yourself. Go yeah. online, search non-trademark music, non-copyright music on YouTube. You can do it. You can download it and use that. It's literally that simple. Um, and then you send but it there's to no one who can do all this for you. You literally have to do this yourself. And I hope you take this, don't take this answer the wrong way at all. Because Roblox, you're, you're still squat. Yeah, your squat is Still fuck. squat, what am I talking about? Of course, <laughs> that's stupid to even say. Always squat as fuck. <laughs> uh, but that's the answer, so just, like, you have to kind of think a lot for yourself with things regarding shit like this. Next question, from Beto Salinas. I know you're in the course, thank you. Heriberto. Heriberto? Have you done- So cool, he's so cool. He's the man. Have you done AMS ads for Spanish books and, and audiobooks? We so try. Audiobooks, no, because it's not possible. So have we done AMS ads for Spanish books? Uh, we tried, we tried, because our first book slash audiobook on our joint publishing account is actually a Spanish book. So we did try, and it's not supported. Yeah, uh, so Spanish books are not supported. It got rejected AMS. three times. You're not allowed to run ads to Spanish books on the U.S. market. Sadly, yeah. you could run it on the uh, Mexican or Spanish market, but we weren't allowed to for whatever reason. I tried to set it up. It was all in Spanish. I was like, "Fuck it." Yeah, yeah. We couldn't even read it. I wish I could. That so would, sadly, that, would that be huge. I mean, great question because that would be awesome. Yeah. And I, I, I well, something I learned over the weekend at the Cancun Mastermind is how insanely amazing AMS ads are. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, crazy important. Let's just shout Marco. He's the AMS dog. He's the legend. <clears throat> and then regarding audiobooks, you can't run it for audiobooks. At some point, there will come audible ads for audiobooks. It's too win-win for both sides. It, it, it makes too much sense for it not, not to happen. Mm -hmm. Audible slash ACX ads will come hopefully in the next year. Next question from, I love this guy. He'll be about the course. Mm. He's just really funny. Uh, he, sp he, he speaks with like a broken English. Yeah, so he's from France. Yeah, he's from France. So it's just really funny the way he talks. In a good way, obviously. His name's Steve D, our dog. Uh, his question, first one is, what is current level, you can see the way he talks. <laughs> it's funny. What is current level in English you need to follow this course? Um, your English should be good enough, I yeah. think. You're I not mean, writing books yourself. Yeah, you're not writing yourself. Um, yeah, we're able to communicate areas. easily, yeah. so you should be fine. But you definitely need to know English. If you don't know English, you can't go through the course. Yeah, but you know English, so you're good. Yeah. Next question. Yeah, don't yeah. 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 Will there be a customer service to ask questions about things we did not understand? Yes, us. Yeah, that's us. That's now. the Facebook group. Yeah. You can ask any question. There's already been well over a hundred posts in that group. Oh, well over. Yeah. It's fucking, they go hard in there. Yeah. We all go hard. Yeah, we do go hard. Next question. There, there's, I, there's no boundaries on like the answers you give. Mm. Not that there ever is holding back, but. J.R. Vega. J.R. Vega. I recognize the name, but yeah. uh, they, don't, they don't comment that often. Yeah, he, but, he uh, always, he um, hit us up with that streaming software to use. So we could live, yeah, live that's stream true. That's on five different platforms at once. Yes. He was also, uh, which you, I remember Gleam, now. Gleam. Gleam.io, Gleam. yeah. which we yeah. will use eventually. Fuck yeah. All right, his question is, what is the price range good narrators charge to do an audiobook? The price range good narrators, I mean, well, depends we, what we, good is. Yeah. Uh, we we uh, go with $50 per finished hour. That is totally uh, enough to get like a high quality narrator. Yeah. Now, most will not pay, you gotta look around, right? Exactly. Um, the best of the best will be charging much more, but they are still very good ones. So we recently, for that price. we recently made Mike Vestile's audiobook for him, turned his ebook to an audiobook, and there we don't have a, a, a budget. So we're just like, we're just finding the best for our dog, Mike. Oh, and so the we, narrator is a pure monster. His voice is unbelievable. Perfect. Steve Stansel, shout out Steve Stansel, have you used him before? But uh, he charges 200 an hour. Mm -hmm. So, and the audiobook is over three hours. So it got pretty expensive. 50 is enough, 100 is a, what a good one might charge. 50 bucks to answer your question. Yeah. 
Or at least that's what we pay. That's not really, but whatever. Uh, next question is from, this might be the only comment you've ever left, from Thai Lifestyle. Mm. Yeah, I don't recognize yeah. the name, to be honest. So, how do you get reviews besides promo codes? That's the only way you get reviews. They use promo codes. codes. Oh, well, you'll get organic well, reviews, organically as well. But that's not something you can control that much. No. You can only slightly. You would not. By I plugging mean, it within your audiobook. It wouldn't make sense to not to get reviews without the promo codes because you'd be out asking people to buy your audiobook and then leave a review. But you have Because the then they have to pay $15 so to, to hear it first, to buy it. So, use the promo codes to have them get it for free and leave reviews. And then organic is the other way. Yeah. Oh yes. oh yes! Woo! Yes! From Zachary Laid. That's why we all excited. Woo! Yeah, we're the man. Uh, we gotta meet up sometime. Mm -hmm. I think he lives in LA. Haha. <laughs> Alright, first question. Where do you find narrators for your audiobook? And do they send you a sample of their voice? Okay. We find our Zach narrators. Zach has never made an audiobook before. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We find narrators. Nor watched our videos. On ACX. And yes, they always send a sample of their voice. Yes. That's the first thing they do is they send what's called an audition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Question number two. This one's much more fun. This. How much do you guys bench? Uh, so we, I can guys sit here and tell you I bench 315 for eight reps. And then, but no, you need video proof. I did not do 315 for eight reps. But we did max out just for you, Zach. Just for you. This was a few weeks ago. So Cue that video. So let's just show Rasmus's first. Okay, so how much was that? 107.5? Yeah, which is like 231, 231 yeah. pounds. So, so the it, was in Den it was in Denmark, so it was in kilos. And then me. Oh. Mine was 110, I believe. I think you were 2.5 kilos more yeah. than me. 110 kilos. Are you oh, impressed? Four, four. I weigh 160, benching 230. So yeah. Uh, I weigh 158 now. I weigh 158 pounds. I can bench 70 pounds over my body weight. Yeah. That's pretty good. So. That's pretty good. If right, anyone guys. doesn't know, we're obsessed with the gym. We've been going hard at it for over eight years. Okay. Alright, next question. Oh, this is a new subscriber who's actually super fucking dope. Tommy. Um, he, started, he started commenting on a lot of videos. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, he yeah, just found us not man. too long ago. Is he in the course? Yeah, he's in yeah, the course. Fuck yeah. Tommy C. U. Tommy, see you. Uh, his first question is, is it violating Amazon terms of agreement if you make a summary? I love this question. Great question. If you make a summary book of another book. For instance, I'm not noticing a trend where bestseller, best-selling books are being made into summary books by self-publishers. It seems like a recipe to get sued by the publisher or get banned from KDP. You're absolutely right. This is a recipe for it. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a big thing. I guess it's on KDP as well. I don't look as much on KDP as I do on Audible. It's huge on Audible. Where, uh, like a Tony Robbins book, like uh, The Beast Within or whatever he has a famous book about. So then uh, a bunch of people will make a summary audiobook of it. Where it's just like a one hour condensed version talking about all the important stuff. So I'm sure it's a quality audiobook. But it's super not allowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super not allowed. We call but, we call them ask, and the response was like, "Yeah, you, I mean, you can do it. It's not against our rules, but yeah. the person who made the book can easily come after you and sue you and yeah, ask you to take it, it down." Exactly. So you can get it up on Audible. Audible won't stop you, mm -hmm. but, uh, but they could they, they could quickly reach out to you and take it down, and you don't want to fucking deal with that. Yeah. So uh, they're profitable as fuck though. Exactly. Uh, as these people hell. are making a lot of money. So if you if you have a super short term mindset, then you should make it maybe. And there was a car. There was a car going in reverse, like like thirty miles an hour. Look, like it was gonna crash. That was that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. That's what you see in Mexico. Yeah. I guess. Tommy, second question: What's the deal? Uh, what's the deal with the Lenovo laptops you guys use? This mm, one. Good question. Lenovo this, ThinkPad. This ThinkPad. I'm curious because I don't see many people using Lenovo unless it's a company laptop. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the only people with these laptops are people who were given to them by their company. Their yeah. business laptops. Yeah. I can tell you uh, exactly why we bought them. Yeah. I too use Lenovo laptop and I love it. I love mine as well. Mm -hmm. You've been having little issues with yours. Yeah. But I've had mine for over four years. Works like a charm. Four years. I've never had a single issue with it whatsoever. It's yeah. fast. It's lightweight. It does everything. Yeah. So I love mine as well until... I don't know, about like three or four months ago, 
it just uh, started getting super slow. And yeah. I don't think I don't blame it on the computer, Lenovo. I think I think it got a virus or it's something. It's from the porn you've been watching. Yeah, I know. So the reason why we got it is because our cousin is like computer, the smartest computer guy we've ever met. Okay, and he just told us. We, so we hit him up. What laptop should we get for business and school and shit? Lenovo ThinkPad. Because this we got it when we were back in school. Woo. Fuck all that. But he said best value for our money. This thing sturdy, just amazing. Next is me. Ah, uh, so many legends. I know so many legends asking questions. That's why I was like, ugh, because the, it's the commenters from Gandalf the Orange, GTO, orange emojis, orange emojis everywhere. Yeah. First question. Yeah. Appreciate the fuck out of you, by the way. Yeah. Appreciate the fuck out of you. How much are you guys making through Draft to Digital and Publish Drive as a percentage compared to the same book with KDP and Create Space slash KDP Print? Is it worth doing Draft to Digital Publish Drive? Let me answer that. Yes. Yes, it's worth it. Through Draft to Digital Publish Drive. Uh, uh, okay, I, I, I could show like the last few months of my uh, Draft to Digital dashboard. Um. Yeah, so that's what I've made the last few months on Drafted Digital, to give you an idea. It's not that I don't even check the sales. I don't even think about ever considering checking the yeah. sales. I'll rarely so get like $200, $200. I, don't, I, don't, I just get direct from? deposits oh, every month. Publish I just get direct deposits every month from Drafted draft Digital. Now, it's such a tiny portion of my publishing income, but the crazy thing is, in Thailand, you could live off of just my Drafted Digital income. I never would, because I'm, bougie, I'm bougie as fuck. Yeah. So I need like... But some things in my life. Uh, they ask as a percentage. As a percentage? percentage? Tiny, tiny percentage? Like, yeah. of what, though? Compared to, to KDP income. Well, I don't have KDP income right now. So on our new joint one, we already have KDP income. Yeah. Is that book on Draft Digital? No. No. We need to... Let's do that. We need to get on that. We've been so busy with other shit. Yeah. Is now a good time to say that I also don't have a KDP and Create Space account? You haven't said that yet? I haven't kept it a secret, but I just haven't gone out of my way to say it. Mm -hmm. But really quick, Christian, Christian got his account terminated for the uh, poorly translated Spanish books. Then he put a book on, on my uh, Amazon account and then claimed it from his ACX account. And because they saw a connection to his, between his terminated account and my account, they terminated my account as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, well. Next question from GTO. How are you guys combating the KDP book reviews being wiped out? I had a book with 70 reviews that got wiped out to three recently. Whoa! Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a lot. that bad? Yeah. Wow. So we don't do book reviews uh, at all. KDP. So we don't even do KDP. We put our books up on KDP, but that's the end of that. So we're all focused on ACX. So look, look at this. Really I mean, think about this. Is GTO, we, don't have to, we don't have to deal with this. Isn't that amazing? Is GCO in the course? Yes. But isn't that amazing with audiobooks? We don't have to fucking worry about this shit. Yeah. So, we don't worry about it. I don't know how to combat it. There's nothing you can do to combat it. Yeah. Um, you know, well, what you can do is uh, focus on audiobooks. So you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So this video is officially over 20 minutes on our end at least. Okay, I think that's a good place to cut it. Yeah. Um, so that is part two of this Q&A session. We're going to get your question 100% without a doubt. Without a doubt. Next video should be in a different location. Okay, okay, we'll do different that. Different location. Okay. This is not that epic. Because we said we would do the Q&A on the beach in Cancun. Yeah. But we wanted to do it just the wind. Yeah. You can't really film outside if you, like, audio gets so fucked up when mm. it's windy. You go out there and just be, oh, fuck, but the whole time. So I guess that concludes this part video. Two. Yeah. Oh, drop some emojis. Rest is one emoji they're dropping. Oh, oh. I mean, this is like a super standard emoji, but it's like one of my oh. favorites. Or is it's the one emoji. Yeah. Yeah. Always. You can do that. But also, um, in honor of our eight years going to the gym, and uh, drop some needle emojis. Oh, come on. Drop what, some needle emojis. What are, you, what are you saying here? I wish I could hop on the juice. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Needle, needles at 100s. Great idea. Fantastic idea. All yeah. right. See you in the next video. If someone doesn't know what that means, they might not. See you in the next video.